welcome once again to CED Mosbaugh's online video series. Uh, this topic is using add-on profiles in Studio 5000. So we're going to start right here um, in our logic setup. We see we have an L81E uh, version 30. Um, and what we're going to do first is we're going to add a, a an add-on profile, an AOP is what you'll hear us call them a lot, um, for a drive. And what an AOP does is it allows you to add a device on a network without having to write a bunch of um, message instructions and sequence and to do the read and write to that device over the network. So all that programming has been done for you kind of underneath the hood so to speak, um, and these AOPs are available for a lot of Rockwell products that are on networks and a lot of Encompass Partner uh, products that are available on network as well. So let's go ahead, uh, down here on our Ethernet, uh, since we're using L81E, uh, it has an embedded Ethernet port, so we're gonna use that Ethernet network. Right click and hit new module, and we're gonna add um, there's a couple options here for a 525. Uh, the 525 can use the 22COM E, which is the old style uh, Ethernet card, uh, but that does limit the amount of data it can go back and forth uh, since it's older technology. Uh, there is a dual port um, Ethernet module available for the 525s, but we're going to go ahead and use the embedded Ethernet port on the 525. So we're going to add that, give it a name, PowerFlex 525 for instance, and an address, and we're going to hit OK and close this. Um, so the first thing that happens when we add this, you, you notice it's down here, it's on our Ethernet network. Um, if you hover over it, you can see the IP address, um, and if we had a, a fault or anything underneath it, we would have that indication here. Um, but since we're not online, we don't get any of that information. But what we do get is if you, we go up to controller tags, you can see these uh, tags is input and output tag were created with the name that we gave the drive and so you can see a stop start reverse jog increment decrement all these tags were made for you so you don't have to write a message block of a random integer and then move those bits in that integer into tags that make sense the tags have already been created for you that make sense uh, and then we also have our indication, so our status word coming back, as well as the uh, output frequency. So uh, let's say that you wanted to monitor something else besides what's given to you by default. Say you wanted to monitor the DC bus voltage uh, or the output current. We could double click on the drive in the, th in the tree, brings up the configuration screen. Under module definition, we're going to click this. Um, this is also where you would change the revision of the drive to match the one that's out uh, on your network, as well as the drive rating for uh, power. But over here on the right, you can see we have four words in and out that we can use. If we click on the arrow here, we can grab any parameter in that drive and bring it back into our controller just this easy. So we're going to grab the DC bus voltage and the output current. Hit OK. Yes. Apply. OK. Now when we come over here, we can see we have our output current and our DC bus voltage have already been added for us, again, as tags that make sense with their description. Um, it's just that easy. Something else you can do with the add-on profile for a drive. We double click. So as well as having the connection, the RPI, and the port configuration that you would have for any other um, IO card or, or IO remote IO drop on the network, you also have this drive tab. And this, we can actually connect to the drive, program its parameters, and there are startup wizards. Um, and the startup wizards will just step you through the initial configuration of the drive. Um, you put in what type of control, uh, your nameplate data, and this is all stuff that you could do from the HIM before, but now you don't need to walk out to the drive. You could do it right from Logix. Um, and then you could save that, and here's also where you can configure your uh, automatic device configuration. And we can cover that in a different day. So this is something that's a very powerful tool. You don't have to walk out to the drive or open up a piece of different piece of software to configure your drive. You can do it all within Logix. All 
All right, so without that, you've seen how to add a drive. One other thing I'll show you um, is we're going to add an E300 overload. So these are our overloads that can be added on the Ethernet network, just the same way. So just a normal motor starter, you would put a contactor on these. We come in and type E300 and double click or hit create. Give it a second to churn at it. Okay, E300, give it an address. Okay. Oh, oh of course, you know, uh, we know that that is not a valid address. Click OK, and we're going to close that again. It shows over here in our Ethernet tree. And here it creates our tags for us, but then there's a lot of other configuration that goes on with the E300 that, again, we don't have to open up a different piece of software for. We can come in and set up that overload all through here. We don't have to open up networks. We don't have to open up a third-party piece of software. All of it can be done right through logics. And again, it creates our tags for us so that it doesn't. we don't have to worry about writing those message instructions. Um, and not all of these AOPs have to necessarily be on a network. Uh, a lot of third-party AOPs are available for um, in chassis modules. So for instance, if we wanted to do a hardy way scales, let's see here. Oh, there's not one on this one. So let's go down here to ProSoft and put this in. Here we go, way scale. We put a scale in here, slot one. So this is the Hardy um, Wayscale controller. So again, we come in and we can do a calibration through Logics. We can see our live data of the scale, um, all through Logics without having to go to Hardy and get a piece of software hook up through another network. Uh, to do all this, we can do it right through Logic. So that's kind of the power of an add-on profile and what an add-on profile is. Um, most um, Encompass partners do provide add-on profiles for their modules. So if you're having trouble finding one, let us know. We can uh, we can direct you in the right direction. So uh, any questions that uh, your local Mosba representative know? Once again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out future and current videos by subscribing to CED Mosbaugh Electric Supply on YouTube or visiting www.mosbaugh.com media. Thanks again.